Welcome to this chapter of Drinking and Drawing. My friend and I decided to spend the day drinking and drawing while exploring the city of Baltimore. I used a Strathmore mixed media sketchbook that I am so in love with. Our first stop was the botanical garden called Rawlings Conservatory, which is super close to the Baltimore Zoo. This place is so peaceful and inspiring. The plants and colors were amazing. It felt like a mini holiday in a foreign place. Inside the conservatory, we saw some huge lemons that reminded me of my trip to the Amalfi Coast last year. I got to draw a little bit while I was there and uh, do some line drawings. We then went to our house for lunch where I had a delicious Korean spicy chicken soup. It was a rainy gray day and it seemed appropriate. After we had lunch, I took out my travel watercolor set and started painting all the different textures and shapes that I had seen at the Rawlings Conservatory. Next we went to Paper Moon, which was an amazing, colorful, and inspirational place. A maximalist dream diner. We enjoyed some coffee there while admiring all the things on the walls and the ceiling. My friend even started drawing what I was painting, and it was pretty funny to see her view of my art. After the Paper Moon, we went to Charm City Mead Works, where I tried the Hydra Mead, which was really good. Uh, even though the area we parked in was a bit dodgy, inside Mead Works was like a totally different world. We saw some really talented artists at the Fat Folks Market. As our last stop, we visited the Ministry of Brewing, where there were lots of beers to choose from, and lots of kids running around. It was really loud in there. I decided to just absorb the church's unique atmosphere and incorporated that into my illustration. It's amazing how when you draw something in an environment like that, it seems to make the memories last longer. Overall, it was a wonderful day full of colors, textures, shapes, and environments. Baltimore has lots to offer, and the parking wasn't that terrible for once. 
Next time, my goal is to make it to the American Visionary Arts Museum and do some urban sketching there of the Inner Harbor. Thank you for watching, and let me know what I missed in Baltimore.